The latest video I posted, 4090 melted connector with the cable mod adapter installed, received a lot of attention. Gamers Nexus talked about it and Jace 2 sense also talked about it. We're going to play the video and maybe we'll comment as the video is going on. What's happening? I have a video card, a 4090 right here. A 4090 card right here. It came in for a melted connector. We already replaced the connector. This is the 12 VH PWR connector. One connector on the card, not two, not three, but only one connector on the card. How does the video card plugs in to a power supply? You have a cable with three inputs, or you can have one with four inputs. The cable plugs into the connector. Let's go ahead and plug in the cable to the connector. And the cable fits in like this. The cable is fully in. It's not rocket science to plug in this cable. Absolutely not rocket science. Anybody with a tiny bit of brains will be able to disconnect and reconnect that cable. Nobody's going to connect the cable halfway on purpose. Anybody with a molecule of brains will connect the cable in a way where the cable goes all the way in, like now. And you have three 12 volt inputs, one, two, and three, and some cables. You have four inputs. Those inputs, they connect to the power supply. And of course, the video card connects to your motherboard, and that's how it goes. The last, I would say, two months, we had a lot of 4090s that came in for either a broken connector or a melted connector. And I posted several videos, maybe four or five videos, working on 4080 and 4090s and discussing the melted connector issue. Customer is paying $2,000, $2,500 for a video card that will later fail because the connector is melting. And I said that that's a big problem. That's a big problem with 4090s. Gamers Nexus and other YouTubers, they already went over this problem maybe in 2022, and they said that 4090s has a problem with the connectors. And Gamers Nexus, doing his research, he came to the conclusion that if the cable is not plugged in all the way, that's how the connectors are melting. So the last video I posted, I showed how that connector is melted and how the cable mod adapter that was connected to the connector also melted and molded itself onto the connector. Now I said in the video, don't tell me that this is a cable that is not plugged in properly because clearly the cable mod 90 degree adapter is plugged in fully to the connector and the connector still melted even with the cable mod adapter connected fully. It's not a case of a cable not plugged in fully and it's not a case of a cable that is not plugged in properly. Cable mod adapters, they fit in tight. And the cable mod adapter, when plugged into the video card, I showed it on camera. It was fully plugged in. Now, I mentioned in the video, the fact that the 90 degree cable mod adapter was plugged in fully to the connector and the connector still melted, then we know that we have a problem with the card. We have a problem with the card. We do not have a problem with the cable. It's not a user error. It's not a cable not plugged in properly problem. It's not a cable mod problem, but it's a problem with the design and the engineering of the card. The connector still melted even with the 90 degree cable mod adapter plugged in. Now Jay from Jay's 2 Sense, he's more in line with what I think, whereas Gamers Nexus, he still thinks or he still blames it mostly on the user, but he said that it could be a card problem. He will have to do more investigation. We're going to listen to Jay from Jay's 2 Sense and we will comment as we are listening to the video. I want to talk about some stuff specifically regarding the 4090 melting connectors, the fact that a few have melted now with cable mod adapters on there, where we stand with that, what has been actually said, what is being done, kind of going into this a little bit farther. So if you haven't watched Northridge Fix, which by the way, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing a collab with him. What I would love to do with him, because he's local, he's in Northridge. What oh, I would, <laughs> I was like, where? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what I would love to do is have a collab with him where he teaches me how to actually solder. Because guess yeah. what? Everything he uses, he sells in his store. So that nice microscope and all the tools, it's all there. Yeah, I want to learn too. Yes. I want to watch you learn. Because so I, I watched too. his video that, that he recently did that everyone and their mom and then their mom's mom and then their, their like 42, like been dead for 42 years, great grandmas have all been telling me is that, hey, another one came in, look, and it had a 90 degree cable mod adapter on it. So I watched his video. And for those of you that don't know, Northridge Fix and Cable Mod are partners, okay? So I'm gonna put that out first and foremost. Second of all, 
what his, if you haven't watched it, what his take is, this is not a connector problem. This is not an end user problem. I mean, before you all get all your eight, but Steve, but Steve, but Steve, hold on. This is not a cable problem. So it's not a connector problem. It's not a adapter problem. It's not a cable problem. It's not a power supply problem. It is an NVIDIA problem because it is the 4090 consistently that is melting the same pins in the same way. Even connectors that had been verified to be plugged in fully seated. So his take is that, look, if you create a product that can fail, it is still on the designer and the manufacturer to warranty, stand behind and protect the consumer from that product. So even if the connector could be put in crooked or wiggled, which is an end user applied problem, but if the problem existed because of manufacturing tolerances or whatever, that's still an NVIDIA problem. All right, so let's pause right here and go over a few of the points that Jay mentioned in this video. Cable Mod and Northridge Fix are partners in a way where Cable Mod is our customer. They mail over their cards for us to fix. We fix it, we fix them, and we mail the cards back to Cable Mod. That's how we are partners. The problem is not user error. The problem is not a cable issue, not a connector issue, not a Cable Mod 90 degree adapter issue, and not a power supply issue, but rather the problem is NVIDIA. The problem is the card itself. Even if that card, even if the cable is plugged in all the way, the connector can melt and that's an issue with the card. We cannot blame it on the user. He mentioned tolerance. Tolerance means if the user plugged in the cable, like they always do with all previous generations of video cards, like I just did, and that cable had a 0.5 millimeter gap on the side, that could cause the connector to melt. Is that on the user or is that on the maker of the card? there should be some type of an error margin. Even if there's a gap, the connector should not melt. Maybe the card should have some type of a mechanical mechanism to ensure the cable is fully connected, or maybe the pins on the cable, the plastic on the cable could be made longer so that you really have to push the cable all the way in for the pins on the cable to make a connection with the pins on the connector. Or there could be some type of a sensor circuit to detect if that cable is plugged in all the way or not. And then the card will prompt the user to reconnect the cables. But to say that the user did not plug in the cable all the way, and that's a problem on the user, totally not acceptable. Whether the maker of the card knew about this problem or they did not know about this problem, it's on them and not on the user. The user is not a psychic, the user is not a magician, and the user will plug in the cable just like they did with all previous generations of video cards put the cable in, we're not gonna leave it like this. We're not gonna plug in the cable halfway. We're gonna plug in the cable all the way, okay? But we do not have to keep going back and forth for 20 seconds to ensure that that card, the cable is plugged in. And if not, then we are at fault because we did not wiggle the cable 20 times to make sure it's all the way in. So now maybe graphics cards makers will take that as an excuse. Oh, it has been proven that this is a user error. We're not gonna automate that card anymore. And the reality is the problem is the card itself and not a user error. Let's continue with the video and we'll comment as we go along. So there's still not been an exact root cause as to what's causing a lot of these to melt. For instance, the 90 degree adapter, if you've not used one yet, that sucker clicks in tight. It does not have room for movement in there versus what like the regular cables do. So regular cables, you can see them sort of wiggle. It's got a really small, clip in the middle, it needs a double clip, one on each side, honestly. That's yeah. what needs to happen because that will keep it from going sideways. Anyway, because it's such a small clip in the middle, it can wiggle. That wiggle can lead to poor contacts, which can lead to higher resistance, which leads to higher temperatures and melts, okay? So Northridge Fix is firmly in the camp of this is an NVIDIA problem. Should this be a recall, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So, and by the way, it's always on the graphics card side. If you have an adapter, you have a plug going into the adapter and you have one going into the card, it still always melts on the card side, not the adapter side, like on where the plug goes in. In the video, I showed you how that cable mod 90 degree adapter is fully plugged in to the connector. And I showed you that the adapter is fully plugged in to the connector. And cable mod confirmed that the adapter was fully plugged in to the video card. A note from cable mod. This is the one instance where it did look fully seated which is why this one especially we want it to look into. 
So we do know the 90 degree cable mod adapter was fully seated in the connector and the connector still burned. You connect the cable without any issues to the adapter and we do not see any burn marks here. We do not see any melting going on here, but the melting happened from down here. How can you blame it on the cable? How can you blame it on the adapter? How can you blame it on user error? It's the card itself. It's not rocket science. Cable mod is not the bad guy in any way, shape or form. Their adapters has nothing to do with the melted connector on the video cards. It's true that they mailed us about eight video cards, but we have over 250 cards in the shop here that we need to fix. So Cable Mod did mail over a lot of 4090s, but we have a lot more customers that mailed over 4080s and 4090s for repair. Northridge Fix was mad um, because every time you put a video up about a failed 4090 connector, the audience would just go bashing the owner of the card saying, oh, user error, user error, user error, user error. And like I said, his, his viewpoint is, if it is this easy to have a user error on a product that was designed with this easy of a, 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 an easy of a situation for a user error to occur, it falls on the manufacturer. I don't understand why the 3090 Ti, which also is very overclockable, easily to 500 plus watts, is not melting the same gauge, the same pin, the same plug, the whole deal as the 4090. But... It's nice to see that this that that Northridge is is an expert in the field, and he is also like saying, "No, this is an Nvidia problem." But I I don't think Nvidia is going to do anything about this. I think Nvidia piggybacked on Steve's video when Steve came to the conclusion that it's user error, and went, "Yeah, it's user error. Case closed." But again, if if the user error can occur because you have made it easy for this error to occur, you have responsibility as the manufacturer to make it right. Now the problem is you could put, you can plug that plug in all the way. Then cable manage your cables and put some tension on it and it will go it'll go sideways on you. And you may not have even noticed. It could go sideways on you if you move or wiggle your computer. Let's say you, you, you slide your computer away to clean underneath it and you put it back and you bump it. That cable could absolutely jiggle sideways. It's insane how much movement is available in that cable even when it's clicked in. So first of all, it takes a lot of force to click it in. And once you click it in, you think it's solid, but try it with your own card if you've got one. You can click it in all the way and then you can definitely rock it inside of there. I personally feel like the design should have included two clips on either end, one on each side. That would have kept it square every time, if that is indeed what the problem is. Like Jay said, problem is not the connector because the same connector is being used on the 3090 and it's not melting. Problem is not the cable. Problem is not the cable mod adapter. Problem is not user error and problem is not the power supply. The problem is the card itself. Let's stop this and we're gonna jump over to Gamers Nexus video and see what Steve has to say. I'll leave links to both Jace to Sense episode, this one, and Gamers Nexus video. Northridge Fix posted a video titled 4090 FE connector melted with cable mod adapter installed. 40 series cards should be recalled. Alex at Northridge Fix showed a melted cable mod connector installed to a 40 series card. And while filming, he was interrupted by staff who brought him another 40 series card. He remarked that he's had one after the other lately. The title in here is pretty spicy and is what caused the sudden influx of emails from you all asking us to talk about this again. Northridge's main point here, the reasoning for this, was that uh, Alex in particular and Northridge as a shop has seen a sudden increase in 40 series cards for repair and all of these were related to burned connectors and melted connectors. So we emailed Northridge Fix to ask for photos of the connectors and we also emailed Cable Mod, which makes the adapter that's shown in this particular video. Now in this process, we immediately learned from Cable Mod that it was the customer for the card that was shown in the video and also a lot of other cards that were recently sent to Northridge. The email with Northridge, it seemed to indicate that Northridge was unaware that Cable Mod was the customer. They were trying to confirm that at the time we emailed them, which means that at the time the video was made, Northridge was under the impression perhaps that all of these cards they've seen lately were from multiple individuals when it looks like at least about eight of them came from Cable Mod directly. So I do not see how it's relevant if I knew the card is from Cable Mod or not from Cable Mod. What difference would it make? We had a sudden influx of 4090s, that's true, but a lot of the 4090s that we fixed do not belong to Cable Mod. So it doesn't really matter if I'm working on a card, I do not read the name. Let me see, where is this one coming from? Joe. Is Joe from Cable Mod? I don't know. I do not read names when fixing video cards, and I think it's irrelevant if I knew who that card belongs to or who it does not belong to. 
And KOMOD produced evidence that it had sent eight GPUs to Northridge for repair in the last three weeks. It noted to us that the very card that appeared in the video was a card that KOMOD had sent in for repair. And this again explains why Northridge assumed the sudden influx was from a big round of failures. Northridge in the video stated, don't tell me about the customer plugging the cable all the way because the customer has a KOMOD 90 degree adapter plugged in all the way and the connector still melted. Now there is a little more here where it's possible the customer used the product without that adapter for a while and maybe that wasn't plugged in all the way. I'm sorry, Steve, I'm gonna have to stop you. You are saying that it's possible that the user used the cart without the 90 degree cable mod adapter and that may be what caused the connector to melt. How does that make sense? Unless we are in outer space and they have different rules. The user plugged in the cable directly to the connector causing that connector to melt and after that connector melted the customer forced that 90 degree cable mod adapter onto the connector and now we're going to blame the problem on a user error because the user did not connect the cable in properly before he connected the 90 degree adapter. My head is spinning. My head is spinning. As for the connectors, we asked Northridge for photos of the adapters. It's too difficult really for us to say for certain what happened based on these photos and without having them in hand and unremoved for an x-ray. And whenever something melts, it does destroy a lot of the evidence. But from this exterior shot, it looks similar to the user failures that we were able to create previously, where you can see what appears to be a burn line about one to two millimeters distant from the fully socketed position. And it appears that this line is off grade across the connector with a one millimeter drop from left to right. That might indicate the user had not fully socketed it, or at least it maybe backed itself out for some other reason when uh, the connector burned, which could lead to a low resistance short or other failures that we discussed in our original piece. And now to be very clear, we don't have that connector in hand. We're just working off some photos. So who knows, that could be completely wrong. But in either case, uh, at this point, it is possible that this is as ever beyond user error, but there's really no new or sufficiently different evidence to change any of the prior conclusions. So the prior conclusions still stand here, which are that it appears to be a combination of both user error and what we called design oversight previously. In other words, a design that uh, is built in such a way that it maybe encourages more user error than would be typical. It took me over two minutes with a plier trying to separate the cable mod adapter from the connector. I scratched the living crap out of that connector and adapter to separate them both and now he's looking at the photo and he analyzed that the reason the connector melted is possibly because the cable mod adapter was not plugged in all the way. Is that realistic to you? I just want you to leave it down in the comments and let me know what you think. Is that possible? The cable mod adapter did not burn from the front or melt from the front but rather it melted from here because the user did not connect that cable mod adapter improperly. Or maybe he did not connect the cable mod adapter at all. He plugged in the cable, melted the connector, and then later on plugged in the cable mod adapter. And we're going to have the spinning head again. I don't know what to tell you. For sure, plus user error, because it's a known quantity now. Ideally, you go back in, you reseat it firmly. You have to wiggle the cable left and right 10 times to seat that cable. Is that realistic? But it's completely possible that there is something different going on here. So. To do our due diligence, we are working on receiving a few more failed cards. We have two or three on route right now, and uh, we'll do further analysis on these. When we come back, we'll work on investigating these cards, um, and maybe we'll have more information on if we have a different conclusion than before. It, to us, this appears like no significant change from previously. So it looks like Steve wanna do more analysis, which is perfectly fine. But as of now, Steve does not wanna back off or back out from everything he mentioned before, from all the lab tests that he did before, he does not want to throw all that in the trash and come and tell you now that the problem is the card and not the user. That's how it appears to me. It could be a combination of both user and the video card, but to me, the user should not be blamed for this. If the connector is not plugged in fully all the way and the connector melts, that's on NVIDIA, on the maker of the card and not the user. Let me know what you think. Jay's to sense, Jay. Gamers Nexus, Steve, do you agree with Jay? Do you agree with me? Do you agree with Gamers Nexus? Let me know what you think and maybe we will do a follow-up video on this topic. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.